Hello Luminaires, Bilal aka Cove here coming at you with another Enlighten tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about user levels. Now we're getting users from YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Trovo and every other platform you can think of. So on update 5.3 we've accommodated for each one of these platforms where it's going to be much easier to use and much more user friendly. We'll first go into the basic usage of user levels and then we'll talk about the nuances between each platform and what we can and cannot do. So grab your lights and let's light up your stream. When you start up Lumia Stream, you're gonna be brought to your dashboard and you've already connected to your platforms, correct? If you went to connections, you can go to any one of your platforms. I pretty much have every platform connected and I'm going to go straight over to commands. So commands, you'll see three different tabs, list, user levels, and global settings. We're gonna click user levels. Now you're gonna see by default, where well, it's gonna be defaulted to Twitch's user levels if you're coming from an older update, but if you're coming from 5.3, you should have your user levels for your platform. So right now with Twitch, I have users, mod, user just means me. That's the streamer. There's mods, VIPs, tier three subs, tier two subs, and tier one sub. Now this is new in update 5.3. We can now use user levels for each different subtype. We also have follower and anyone. Bankai is just a custom one I created that I'm gonna delete now so we can add more custom ones later. And this is what you're gonna get. These are pretty self-explanatory for Twitch. But when it comes to YouTube, some YouTubers were seeing this Twitch user levels and they couldn't map it correctly. So now we have an option to change your platform. So you can go to YouTube and now you'll only see the ones that are applicable for the YouTube platform. So it's only users, mods, members, subscriber, and anyone. And user just means streamer. Once again, members are your members. Subscribers are the only ones that have their subscribers visible. So if they have their subscriber list hidden, then they won't be registered as a subscriber on YouTube's API. So keep that in mind. Next up, we're gonna have Facebook, which only has user, which is me, the mod, and then anyone. And when I say which is me, is a streamer. So the streamer as you. We cannot look at followers right now with their API, we're very limited. So this is all we can do with Facebook. And Trovo is pretty much the same. We can bring in subscribers, but that's about it. We could do users, mod, subscriber, and anyone. Anyone just means anyone that comes into your stream, no matter what they are. They don't even have to be following and they can be triggering these lights. That's the base user level. You can also create a custom user level if you're premium. You can create a custom group and say, I wanted this to be the cool kids. The cool kids table would only include, say cool kids would only include, say Naruto, say Ichigo, and well, this is pretty cool. Let's say Zoro. So only three, those are only three cool kids that's gonna be able to trigger things inside of my channel. But this doesn't mean anything right here. So this is just my user level types. This is where you're gonna set up your user levels. Now you have to add your user levels to each command. So if I go back to list, let's say I created a command. Let's create a new one. Let's call this special. And this special command is just gonna be an animation that has water so this special command i only want it to be available you see user levels down here i want to allow not allow anyone else to use it except the cool kids in me i want myself to be able to use it in the cool kids and that's it so now if someone goes in the chat and tries to use this exclamation point special they won't be able to unless they're either ichigo naruto or zoro so if i press apply then this special command it'll only say two user levels and that's it because it's only cool kids and user so there's also now with Twitch, there's tier three, tier two, and tier one. So if I go to edit any one of these commands or create a new one, you'll see that I can just have my tier three subs be able to use this command or my tier two subs. And by default, if you select tier two, that also means tier three will be able to use it as well. And if you select tier one, that means tier two and tier three can use it. But just to keep things consistent, let's just check all three of them. If you want all your subscribers to be able to use it. All my subscribers will be able to use this command, which is just gonna be a red color. I'm gonna press apply, and now only subs can use that. You see my three levels, and special still has two levels. That's kind of it. That's all there is to user levels. You can also add user levels to Twitch points, and it's really handy if you use it for Twitch points, because let's say you don't want everyone to use your Twitch points. Let's say you only want subscribers to be able to use Twitch points, so you can add different user levels for each one of your Twitch points. So I can go back, and let's say I only want my tier three subs to be able to use this. Well, yeah, myself in tier three subs for wild points. 
in an emerald uh, let's say i just want cool kids to be able to use this so i'll mark everyone off except cool kids and i'll press apply and most of the time i just keep it on for myself just so i can test things uh because if it's not on myself then i won't even be able to redeem it which it's not that good <laughs> but that's about it that's pretty simple for user levels now there are some nuances as i mentioned earlier like YouTube, if they have their visibility hidden for subscribers, then we will not be able to pull in their user levels. Facebook, we can't pull in followers right now, but we will hopefully be able to in the future. If you want to get, you know, a custom user level that you can add all your users that you want inside of there, like say, you know, say right now we have VIPs with Twitch as well, but let's say we didn't have VIPs. You could have had a special user level specific for VIPs and you could have added your VIPs inside of this group. We're glad you all joined the movement of lighting up your stream. We hope to see you in the next tutorial and have a luminous day.